Christmas, frugal friends. The peace is back in the van. No more seeing all those wires hanging out. Oh, I'm so happy. We went and got the clips that uh, put it back in place. Um, and then James reinstalled it for me. It's the simple things, my friends. revamp is coming right along and one of the things that I decided to do was to clean and spray paint the little Sterilite drawers that go in there. I want to eventually have a custom built-in put in. My brother is a carpenter uh, along with doing um, like computer stuff, uh, IT analytics or something like that for a bank. But anyway, on the side he also has a, a carpentry business run out of his uh, his shop at his home and he's the one that along with my husband made all of my kitchen uh, cupboard doors. I'm going to eventually hire him to do some built-ins but until I can save up the money for that we are putting these back in because I have to have drawers there but I thought you know what I'm not gonna go and buy new ones I have spray paint we're just gonna clean these up now do they look brand new no but are they gonna look so much better than they did you betcha Okay, so I've gotten all the painting done over here. We got our awesome little owl put up. This little twig here, though, is bothering me. That's better. All right, we got him put up, and this little framed piece that I have had for, like, four years and finally got put up. I cleaned the light fixture and got that put back together, cleaned this, which is straight out of the bins, exactly as you see it. That was how I found it in the dumpsters like two summers ago, I think, maybe. But I moved it up higher. It was down here and kept getting hit by the door of the uh, medicine cabinet. So I like having it up there. But I'm also thinking of hanging something below it, like for necklaces and things like that. I don't know. <clears throat> this uh, vanity is done. And there are those knobs that we found in the bins. I have some touch-up work here and there, but yeah, nothing too much. The little soap pump that we found in the dollar store bins, uh, I think it was only last weekend, I filled that up and it matches beautifully with the bathroom, loving it. And then there's this little caddy that we found in the bins oh, a few months ago. I still need to get some TSP. It's a really strong, uh, like abrasive cleaner for things like porcelain and ceramic and stuff like that. And I'm going to scrub the sink and I'm going to scrub the fixture here, the, the faucet, and see if we can't get this vanity looking almost like new. The plan eventually is to get a piece, like recycle uh, some kind of dresser or buffet or something that will fill this entire space because it's silly when they installed this the people before us there's like this empty ugly space over here and it's just it's silly so I've eventually I want to put in a whole piece there and put in a granite vanity over it and then like big mirrors I don't know we'll see but for now this is what we've got and then there's that laundry basket which is of course also from the bins I need to clean up paint spots that I got on the tile, one thing at a time. <clears throat> Excuse me. Over here, uh, I obviously still need to paint. <laughs> There's a lot more painting still to do, but these shelves, I've gotten them done other than touch-ups. So I've, I'm doing the cream white, and then inside, I've put on one coat of the like cranberry spray paint. And so I need to put one more coat of that up there. This is all to like tie it in to, for one thing, the shower curtain, but also to the kitchen and everywhere else. We're gonna have the cranberry color throughout the house. So I need to do touch-ups here. I, there's spots where I haven't even gotten the first coat. We'll get to that. I need to scrub the toilet with the TSP. Um, 
Yeah, when I was spray painting, I didn't properly cover everything, and so some mist got on there, so I need to scrub that. That's no big deal. I'm going to get a new toilet seat and cover. Uh, I need to take this whole shelf thing down and paint behind it. Let's see, I need to clean this fan, which is from the bins. Some of you may remember it. It was not dirty like this, though. <laughs> when I found it, it has come in so handy having a little fan in here. Uh, besides, you know, the, like, bathroom fan. This one has just been for comfort, but it desperately needs to be cleaned. So I will get that done. Speaking of up here, I need to take the vent cover down. I need to vacuum that really good. I am going to buy a finial to add a finial and a cap for this light that my husband found at like a restore place. I'm gonna do that. And then uh, I'm gonna try the TSP on the tile. I hate this tile. I have hated it since we moved in, but until I can afford to have it torn out and replaced with what I really want, I at least want it to be clean. So I've gotta clean the paint off of, you know, spots where I've gotten it. And, and then clean the tile itself. I'm thinking a really, really good clean will be a huge improvement. I spray painted the vent cover and put that back in. That made a big difference just doing that. Let's see, get my paint apron off the door. The door is done and looks beautiful. I love it. I'm tempted to spray paint or replace the knobs like the doorknob, but eh, we'll see. It's it's not like a huge priority. This wall is done. Uh, not even touch-ups, I don't think, that I need to do over here. One of the things I'm going to look into at the Home Depot, I've already looked a little bit into, you know, on, on their online, but um, something I really want to do is add crown molding to the entire house, but the bathroom is small, and so I'm thinking I'm going to start in here. One of the nice things about that is then I won't have to worry about touching up all those spots where I got the paint on the ceiling. How nice would that be? No, I really want crown molding. I really do. Not just to cover up my mess, but because I think it would really add to this room. I think it would be fabulous. So I'm going to check that out and see if it's feasible. I also want to add some wood rope trim right here on these shelves. I think that would tie in nicely to this here in the pantry that we did uh, a few weeks ago. See that rope trim that's on the edge? That's what I wanna add in the bathroom onto those shelves. No, we have not torn out the carpet yet, but that's because I decided it made more sense to paint first, because I still have to paint the hallway and the living room, all of that. It makes more sense to just leave the carpet until we've done the painting, then tear out the carpet. So that's coming. I've uh, been using my dumpster scrub brushes. I've cleaned the shower once, but not with TSP, just with uh, some other products, but I'm going to try the TSP in here. If you guys have used TSP, that's just a rag right there, nothing weird. Um, if you've used TSP for your cleaning, please tell me in the comments what your experience was like with it. It's, it's going to be interesting. You have to like wear goggles and a mask and gloves, but... I think it'll be worth it to get all of this looking new again, or at least as close to new as possible. What else? Uh, you may recognize dumpster towels galore. This is from the bins, little candle holder. Notice all of these hair things that have been sent to us by viewers or that we have found in the bins. Yes, we do use the things that you guys send us. P.O. Box address is in the video description and things that we have found in the bins. We use a lot of them. I need to clean the window inside and out. What else? Got to put the toilet paper thing back up, but not till I finish painting this wall. I think that is a pretty good update of where we're at in the bathroom. In the kitchen, we've got the blinds put back up. That one as well. James, my darling husband, put those back up for us. Here's the fridge. Slowly but surely, we are adding magnets. If you guys would like to add a magnet to the fridge, like I said, P.O. Box address is in the video description. One thing I wanted your guys' thoughts on is plastic bags. How do you store your extra grocery bags? Because we need them, we use them, 
but what do you do with them? Where do you put them? I'm thinking of getting, like my mother-in-law has one of those fabric things that look like a sausage <laughs> and you put your grocery bags in there. It would definitely be more attractive than this. What, what do you guys do with them? What ideas do you have? My sister-in-law rolls them all up really tiny and puts them in a drawer. I don't have an extra drawer, so I don't know. What, what do you do with them? I have also been in touch with my brother, like I said, the one that is a carpenter, and he has agreed to take on the project of doing a special built-in down here that will match uh, the existing cupboards. Like I said, him and my husband made those cupboard doors, uh, which I do still need to wax. That is another thing still on the list. But anywho, he is going to make the custom piece here. I just need to get all the measurements and reference pictures and things like that. And down here, we'll have like pullouts. They won't be drawers, they'll just be pullouts where like potatoes and onions will go. But then of course, that means I need to find a new place for our lunch boxes and reusable bags. We're just gonna keep, <laughs> we're just gonna keep figuring it out as, as we go along. Whoo! Another thing I got done was to get the bulb for this lamp up here, this um, under cabinet lamp. And so I was able to put that back together. It has come in so handy having that up. Seriously, when you're like loading the dishwasher and doing whatever you're doing, oh, it makes such a difference having that light up there. I know you guys understand, some of you anyway. The table is for now a disaster because all the bathroom stuff is in here. It's like we get one room finally done and all put together and then it has to get destroyed again because another room. So uh, once I finish the bathroom and the hallway, I'm going to take a break from painting briefly and do the chairs and table. That is my thought anyway because I'm going to sand them down and, and redo them. But what do you guys think? Should I... Once I finish the bathroom, the bathroom and the hallway, should I come and do the table and chairs or should I go straight to doing the living room so that we can get the carpet torn out? What would you do? Uh, as I've said before, the carpet is, I mean, it's horrible. We, we've already decided, we're taking it out. There's, there's no question about that. It's just a matter of how long can I stand it? I don't know. I really want the table and chairs done, but more than that, I think I want the carpet out. So do I just jump in and, and, and do it? Or do I do the table and chairs first? If it were you, what would you do? Cause this is, it's seriously, it's killing me. It's driving me crazy, but it's quite a project to do, to do the living room as well. Uh, here's another update. James went and bought a couple of curtain panels for here. So we don't have you know, ghetto blankets hanging up anymore, but it's not done. He just got those and they're not thick enough to do what he wanted them to do. So on my list today is to go get curtain shears and some pretty curtain rods and two more of these panels. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> we're going to get it all done. We are going to get it done. I got all of the Elvis and other pictures taken down from the hallway so that I can start painting in here. The other thing I want to do, this coat and backpack holder, it has these pegs, but no matter how many times I've glued them back in, they always start falling out. So what I'm going to do is just take them out, fill in and sand where they were, and I'm going to add metal hooks. So that's another thing I need to look for today. And I'm going to paint this the cranberry color that I'm incorporating throughout the house. So that's another thing. I might hang or hang paint the bill holder that cranberry color as well. We will see. And I'm going to replace these globes that I absolutely hate, these shades here. I've never liked them. I like the fixture. I think it's beautiful. But these shades, no. So I'm going to look at the ReStore and at some of the thrift stores and see if I can find some globes that I'm in love with. And then I'll sell these ones on eBay. So if you do love these, hey, they're going to be on eBay soon. And if you want to come along with me on my hunt at the ReStore, like it's like the Habitat for Humanity type store. Uh, if you want to come along with me to there and the thrift store in my search for 
cabinetry for in here and for those new globes, please tell me in the comments and I will bring you along. Another project that I want to get done here, here quick, here soon, I found some of these metal grates a couple of years ago and I've held on to them and held on to them <clears throat> and I finally know what I, uh, kind of what I want to do with them. I'm going to find some wood. I'll look through the wood that we already have. We have like pallet wood and we have these old frames. And what I want to do is build a frame for this out of old wood or cut it in half and add it, you know, two pieces to these old frames, these old window frames. <clears throat> and it can be an earring holder or you can use clips, which we have plenty of, to put postcards, pictures, things like that. I want to have that for either in the hallway or in the kitchen. So, yeah, what I haven't decided is if I want to paint it or if I want to just have this original patina with it all, you know, kind of rusty and worn. I've seen it done both ways online. You guys tell me if it were you, what would you do? <clears throat> While we're here, you can just notice a few things from the bins that I've uh, been working on. This is like a little treasure box. I need to repair it. I found that in the bins like, oh, two years ago and I've been meaning to repair it ever since. So that is also on the list right now. Yes, I am in project mode. I am hardcore in project mode. I have this thing. It's like a cast iron fixture, just like this one. They're both from the bins, <clears throat> and this one is looking really good, but this one is just ugly, and so I want to do something to it. I want to tear all this stuff off and clean it really, really well, and I want to do something maybe with tile, maybe with some of our broken ceramic and some cement and grout around it and make make it prettier. Yes, I know I'm taking on way too many projects at once, but understand I have them prioritized. Like these ones that I'm showing you out here, they are not anywhere close to the top of the list. They're like free time or when I just really need a break from the bathroom and the painting and all that inside stuff, then I can come and work on these. So don't tell me I'm overwhelming myself. I already know that, but I do have a plan in place and I have prioritized, I promise. All right, here is another little update. This is the bag that we found. It was a return. There was like a little return label on it in the craft store bins. I washed it and it came out really nice. Really, really nice. There's like some, I need to take like a lint roller over it. But <clears throat> other than that, it came out really pretty. So what I need to decide now is what I want to do with it. Should I add some patches, some iron-ons? Should we do some uh, puff paint? Should I add some gems and jewels? The possibilities are endless, but yeah, that came out pretty nice. So <clears throat> the power of washing machines, soap and bleach, guys, when it comes to dumpster finds, I'm telling you, including this blanket. There's a <clears throat> another good example, my blanket. Yeah, my comforter from the bins. All right, this one has been a little more frustrating. It is the Victoria's Secret bag that we found in the bins. And I washed it with regular laundry detergent on the gentle cycle and then hung it to dry. And what we have left, there's a spot right here and a couple of spots here and like some impressions here, but I think that's from the laundry bin. I don't know. <clears throat> that's paint off of my hand. <laughs> so there's these two spots. And that one, and I'm not sure how aggressively I should try to get those out. And they're a teeny bit sticky, like just a little bit tacky, just barely. Uh, do you guys have suggestions? This is a faux suede. It's not real suede, but it definitely could be damaged pretty easily. There's also like some wear marks here, but I could just mention that in my eBay listing and it won't be a problem. I could still probably get, you know, <clears throat> if I can get these marks out, I could still probably get $9 plus shipping for this bag, so it's definitely still worth my time, but I just don't know how to get these these spots out. So if you guys have any suggestions, again, it is faux suede, please tell me in the comments because I am at a loss for what to do there. If I cannot get those out, then this will either be a donate or I will let the girls play with it for a while and then it will go. We got all the sticky stuff out of the inside really easily. That all came really clean and looks gorgeous. I love that print, isn't that fabulous? 
So now we just got to try and get those things out. Okay, please, suggestions, tips, ideas, things that have worked for you, please put those in the comments. Finally, for accountability's sake, I'm bringing you back into the eBay shed. I don't know if you can tell that I've gotten anything done, but I actually have gotten quite a bit done. I just, like, I've gotten a whole bunch of stuff listed and a whole bunch of stuff brought out and put where it belongs. And I need to grab several things because several things have sold and I need to get them on their way. But yes, there is definitely still work to do out here. Definitely. But I promise I have been working on it and I have made progress, but it's, I mean, it's a process. And we're getting there, we're getting there. I think the thing that makes it look so bad is that I have all the boxes from the Toys R Us bins. <clears throat> all of these are listed on eBay. They're like pieces for cribs and stuff like that. I've sold one so far, but I still have all these and they take up quite a bit of room. I think if these weren't in here, it would definitely look better, but I can only do what I can do because that's the, that's the thing, guys. That's the tricky thing. When you want to sell the stuff that you've found, you got to find a place to put it, <laughs> which is not always convenient. So to that end, I need to get back to work. I have a lot to do today. Uh, thank you for coming along on this update. Yes, we will be back in the bins this Sunday, which means I got to hustle and get all this stuff done so that I have somewhere to put the things that we find this weekend because guaranteed there will be treasures in the bins and we will be grabbing them. So, all right, have a fabulous weekend. Please tell us in the comments what things you guys have been working on, what, uh, you know, what you've been inspired and motivated to do in your life to make it more comfortable and less stressful. And uh, stay tuned, friends. We've got lots of good stuff coming along. So, uh, oh, P.S., one other thing. If you wouldn't mind mentioning in the comments uh, any dumpster finds that you have been using in your daily life, what have you been doing with them? What were they? Where did you find them? Have a, f a fabulous frugal, a frugal day, frugal friends. <laughs> I gotta go have some coffee. We'll, we'll see y'all soon. Please be sure to check the video description for links to our social media accounts. There you will get exclusive access to pictures and videos of different things that we have going on on a daily basis. And you will find out how you can contribute and help support the mission of saving and salvaging. Have a great day, guys.